Yes, this is the German head. Yes, sauerkraut is good. Putin sauerkraut. Yeah, it's a do. That's Norwegian. And German, I think you would say. Ah. Guten Tag. Today it's a moon tag. Moon tag, my friends. <laughs> yes, I know I got a long beard and a nice looking head. Remember folks, sauerkraut is good for you. It's healthy for you. It makes you feel good. You know, it smells funny and it doesn't taste, it, it tastes much better than it smells. It smells kind of funky folks, but sauerkraut is one of the best things you can actually eat. Reason being, it's got it's got stuff enzymes in it that's good for your digestion, and sauerkraut also has got also all kinds of health benefits, like your like uh, well, let's put it this way. It's almost like eating pickle. It's like eating pickled cabbage. It put it it put it put in a in a in a container, to the point where it actually becomes sour. And yet, and yet, some reason it tastes good and all kinds of, oh, there goes the line. For some reason it tastes good on Reuben sandwiches, hot dogs. Some people actually like sauerkraut on hamburgers for some reason. I've eaten sauerkraut on hamburgers before. Sauerkraut's good on with all kinds of stuff, especially if you like Reuben's like I do. I like Reuben sandwiches with lots of sauerkraut. And why are we sauerkrauts? Because we are the bad disposition being German. You don't want to mess with Northern Germanic Vikings and go Viking. The word Viking is actually an adverb, folks. It's not a noun. Viking Germans and Vikings did not wear horned helmets. That's what the Celts wore. And ancient Germanic tribes had, had helmets, but they didn't have horns on them. They had one spike on it. They did have one spike on their horns. The Germans were known for their ferocity and also for being, for being uh, vicious killers. Well, they were fighting their own homeland against the darn Romans, don't you know? The Romans invaded Germany. So the Germans like, like, uh, what was his name? Herman the German. That's it, Herman the German. Of course, well, they, the Romans called them Armenians. But we people in Germany at that time called them Herman the German. And Herman was the one that massacred, literally massacred a whole bunch of Romans. There's a mass grave in the Tudorborg forest of Romans that were butchered down dead. That's what they get for invading Deutschland. They invaded our German, Germanic country. Of course, the Romans called that land Germany. They called it Germania. But the people of that land never once ever called it Germany or Germania. And the actual word is Deutsch. It comes from the Celtic word Tuath, which also originates from a god that they worshipped known as tu, Tuta S. Toit, Toit, yeah, tu, Toit. Who was he? Toit uh, S. I think I want to pronounce it. Some will say Toita S, some will say Tuta S. But it really is a god that the Germanics that they worshipped, and the Germanics did too, believe it or not. What they did is they they basically worshipped the god that protected the tribe. The word Tuta, Tuat, Deutsch, means people, tribe. So when you say Deutschland, you're saying tribal land. Tribe land. Ah, sorry about that, folks. Anyways, just remember you hear the word Deutsch. It comes from the god Toita to S. 
There's a song like that. Toy, ta, ass. Da, da, na, to, toy, ta, ass. Da, da, na, toy, toy. Two, ta, ass. Da, da, na, da, na, da, na, toy. Toy, ta, ass. That was a great song. I can't remember who sang it. I bought that folks on the nose. It itched a little bit. Our lights. Anyways, a little history about, about the ancient country of Deutschland and how the word Deutsch came from. It came from a Germanic god. Also, we not even the Celts worship the same god. The Celts and the Germans had a lot in common because Germany was once actually inhabited by Celts, not Germanics, believe it or not. The Germanics invaded that country when they drove the Celts out. And that's why the Celts went into England, you know, France, you know, it has become, of course, it was called Gaul because the Celts that lived there were called Gauls by Julius Caesar. But the Celtic tribes that lived there never once called themselves Gauls. So they had their own personal names of their own tribes. But let you know that's a little history right there.